hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungo back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back i uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed we're very very grateful hope you're doing all right and may you stay blessed if there's anything you want me to react to just feel free to give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out if i haven't reacted to something that you suggested this probably because i was busy with school and you can suggest it again i'll look into it find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi or say hi back our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to food habits of prophet muhammad peace be upon him so without wasting time let's get into the video If you want to be healthy and live healthy, follow the diet and the sleeping pattern of Rasulullah True. Aisha anha says, never for two days in a row, never for two consecutive days did the Prophet وسلم, ever eat barley. So they would mainly eat barley. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he, if he would eat all this talk about carbs and protein, so if any carbs he would eat, he would be barley, but even then on occasions. The Prophet sallallahu was a very organic eater sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He ate dates, he drank water, he drank fresh milk, he was a person who would enjoy the luxuries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He loved a tharid, which was a meat filled dish on buttered bread with broth. He used to love the excessive amount of soup. Some of his favorite vegetables were things like pumpkin and um, cucumber, a hadith that mentioned watermelon. He loved meat, but that's no reason for excessive consumption. Because Aisha radiallahu anha relates that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well as they, the family, would only occasionally and rarely receive meat. In one hadith of Bukhari she says, for two whole months, for two whole months, the fire in the hearth of the home of the Messenger of Allah would not be lit because there was no solid food to cook. For two whole months. All our food was dates and water for two months and occasionally we would receive a gift of milk. That's why when they would have meat, Prophet ﷺ loved meat, but Aisha herself explains in one hadith that he would only occasionally come to them. This is why he loved meat. So in this hadith, Aisha says, Never did the Prophet eat his fill from barley for two consecutive days until the day he left this world. The Prophet wasn't a person who would gorge. He wasn't a person who would chug. He was a person who would sip. He was a person who taught us to breathe in between our sips of water. That when we ate, that we would eat a third, a third, and a third. A third for food, a third for our drink, and a third for our air and breathing. He was a person who was a healthy eater. He never ate alone. And that's a really important thing. He was very social in his eating. There's no hadith where you ever hear that at any time he ever had a meal that wasn't shared with others. He ate Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with his hands, not just because there weren't utensils. There were hadith where he ate with utensils, but because his hands, it limited the kind of quality. He taught us not to blow on our food, not to be so greedy that we can't wait until it cools down a little bit Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He taught us that the person who serves others should be the last to eat. And therefore it was an honor to make sure that everyone was well fed and watered before a person considered their own needs. There were times where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us to restrict food. And he would fast every Monday and Thursday, the 13th, 14th, and 15th of every lunar calendar, and of course the month of Ramadan, and other special days like Ashura in the month of Muharram. Uh, you know, the holistic approach of the Prophet Wasallam is really what is key. The Prophet Wasallam was a person who taught us that food is one of the primary reasons for illness 
if we eat too much of it or if we eat the wrong the wrong types. None of the hadith related by other Sahaba radiallahu anhum. Never did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam fill his stomach. Never did he eat to his fill from barley or for meat, from meat, unless he was a guest with other people. So if he was eating with other people as a guest, then maybe he would eat a bit more. But normally he would never eat to his fill. Uh, I'll give you uh, three important verses that are of benefit that you can see reflected in the level of the Prophet Allah says, Kulu wa shrabu wa la tusrifu. Eat and drink, but don't be excessive. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I've made the night a place of repose and rest and your daytime a place of activity. And therefore eating at night wasn't in the habit of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu That was something from the active part of our day. And third and most importantly, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, I've created out of water every living thing. You and I, we need to drink much more water. The Prophet Sallallahu in the authentic hadith he said, One day you'll be questioned about the, the excessive uh, joys of life, the bounties of life. And he said, One of those joys that he relishes وسلم, is a drink of cold water on a hot day. Very interesting video. I love how Muhammad is spoken about because he is someone young people can actually tend to and say, uh, let me follow his ways or, you know, anything, something about his life, you know. I feel like he, he was a people's people, not just um, a people's people, I should say, you know, because if you're looking at today's world, some people, not many people, Although I feel like there are many to me. Some people are really trying to eat healthy because they've realized that we're consuming a lot of processed foods that are actually not good for our bodies, you know. This is why we're getting all the all sorts of diseases, sicknesses. You know, it's the food that we're eating. It's what we're putting into our bodies. There's too much chemicals. There's too much... I don't even know what they put in these things. We have to limit... Um, we have to find a way or limit how much processed foods we can take in or fast foods, you know. If you can get fresh vegetables, not the other uh, type. Uh, if you can um, cut out certain things from your life and you s see your body feeling much better than usual, you know. And this is not even a secret. Whatever we're consuming, that's process whatever the case is is affecting us but then what are we doing about it we don't have to wait for the government to say this is dangerous to eat don't eat it no it's up to us to make that choice i mean we have the choice in our hands to choose as to whether we continue with these foods or do away with these foods and eat something healthier at the end of the day these uh, are our bodies that our souls occupy it's our duty to um take care of them you know so let me know what you guys think about this video and the way uh, the diet of Prophet Muhammad. What are your thoughts? Uh, what are you doing about your diet right now or do you just eat anything? So yeah, let me know if there's anything you want me to react to. Just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.